Hello lovely people, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and today we're practicing Feliz Navidad. A lovely, lovely song. In this video, I suggest I'll play it for you first and then afterwards we're going to play it together. So have your violin and your book ready. You might also have a pencil ready to write in a few notes about fingerings as we go along. So, I'll play it for you first. Here we go. So this is a lovely jolly song and we'll play it together, we'll go one notch slower than how I've played it to you right now and we'll, we'll, we will keep stopping and starting just to discuss a couple of bowings and fingerings as we go along. So we're playing it exactly as it's printed and I'll talk you through that as well. Now before we start I can already tell you that we're going to start up bow. So start just below the middle of the bow and here we go and... with this type of bowing so that I have a very long up bow on the long B and that sets me up really nicely to play another up bow so this is my long note and I stop just about below the middle and then I've got another up bow on the B now here I've got another long up bow so that I can start a new up bow again towards the lower half of the bow. Now this long A here, if you've learned to play the third position that's awesome, you can play it in the third position on the second finger and then add some vibrato as well. If you haven't yet learned either of these two things, position playing or vibrato, just play it on an open A string and you'll have just as much fun. If you want to learn how to play vibrato or position playing, do check out the link that I put below this video in the description because on my technique playlist I will have videos about how to play vibrato and how to play positions as well. So go and have a look there if you want to learn that. Now I'm going to go back to the beginning once more. One, two... repeat on the A so that the tune comes back again and So when you repeat it, you've already played the first time bar the first time around. So we're skipping that one and we're going straight into the second time bar. Now we're going to carry on now after the second time bar. And one. Hopefully, 
that I've played the E's with the fourth finger. And now I'm going to the third position. And I do that so that I can play this whole bar on the D string. So all of my notes are on the same string and that sounds a little bit more sophisticated than when you played in the first position when you've got one note on B. For most people this is fairly challenging stuff. Slightly easier when you play it on the first finger you see. So let's get back to this section after the second time bar. One, two and... of the triplet slurred and you probably have noticed that sounds much nicer it's a little bit more harsh it's more delicate when you play it slurred let's now pick it up again from the fourth line and then I'll pick the second bar now after we hit that triplet that we've just discussed can you perhaps stay in the third position if you can let's do that shall we Fourth line, second bar. Here we go. Three, four, one. you can. Wow, haven't you done great coming all the way through this speed? Shall we play it one more time and then back at the original speed? One and... Thank you. 
very, very jolly song, that one. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends. And I very much look forward to seeing you again in Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, something of a completely different style that time. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.